You wanna stop feeling so tired and stressed and burned out and unhappy all the time. I understand. And honestly, guys, like the reason that I feel so passionate about inner peace and the reason that I talk about it so much on my channel is because for pretty much all of my life, I never had it. I didn't seek it. It was the last thing that was on my priority list. But since my journey began of seeking inner peace, it is completely transformed transformed my life for the better and I want to share that because I want that for you too so what is inner peace and how do we get it all right isn't that kind of like the big question think about someone that you know who is so calm so at ease someone who may be going through so much but they are so steady that you would just never really know they are so unbothered and, and stable, you know, whenever you talk to them or whenever you're around them. I know we all know these people. They tend to be a little more quiet and stoic and they feel no need to be loud and boisterous and attention seeking. You know, like they don't need to yell or curse up a storm to get their point across. They can talk to you the way that I'm talking to you now with conviction, with steadiness and with poise and they don't need all of the drama that so many of us have inside of us because we don't know how to properly express ourselves because we don't have that inner peace it's the kind of person where <laughs> you don't want to make them upset and not because you're worried about the repercussions or getting screamed at or yelled at or whatever it may be but more so because that you know if you have pissed this person off to where they do get to that point, you know you really screwed up. If you have someone in mind, I'd love to hear who that person is for you. For me, it was my grandfather. And if you don't have someone like that in your life, think about like, um, like a monk. You know, that's the type of energy and peacefulness that I'm talking about. You know, when you have this inner peace, instead of your emotions running you around up and down like a roller coaster, you have more of a straight kind of steady line with a few minor bumps in it. And look, usually that doesn't happen because someone's born with it, but because they have implemented a few deep understandings that have become a part of who they are and that's what allows them to move through life with this peace and with this energy and what that brings them is so much more calmness and peace if you're more calm and more at peace and not all over the place like so many of us are your life is going to be better you're going to be happier <laughs> Promise. So let's break down the four main understandings of what these people that have achieved this inner peace know at a deep level and not only know, but they have internalized it into their being. And again, this is these are things that, you know, they take practice and they're going to take time. But as someone like myself, who I've been known to be very emotionally uh, volatile and scattered and all over the place and allowing these outside circumstances and other people to kind of determine my emotions, you know, I have really gone through a huge transformation when it comes to this kind of stuff. So um, let's talk about the first one here. And that is understanding that other people's words and actions have nothing to do with you, with me, right? So, so much of our life is determined by the people around us. Our significant others, our bosses, our children, our friends, like it, it doesn't matter, but we react to all of these things because what happens is when someone says something to us and you know it upsets us in some way, we take it personally. Like, oh, that person said something to me because like I did something wrong, okay? But when people have achieved this, this inner calmness and tranquility, they understand that that is because of what that person is going through. It is not because of something that you did, right? So think about it this way. Even when, think of like a, a romantic relationship and one partner gets jealous about something towards the other partner and lashes out and gets angry 
and gets jealous and upset about all these things. The person on the receiving end of that can sit back and say, oh my God, like I did something wrong. They're so upset and blah, blah, blah. And look, there are some cases where that person did do something wrong, right? But I'm talking about in general, typically, if someone is feeling jealous within a relationship and look, <laughs> I've been there, okay? It is because of something that has to do with that person and their own insecurities or maybe something that happened to them in the past, right? So if you've ever been cheated on, sometimes it's hard to realize that a new person you're dating didn't make the mistakes your old person is dating, right? So you're already on the offense and looking for things that would show you that this new person is cheating on you because of a circumstance you experienced in the past. So in reality, that new person is not doing anything wrong, right? So if you lash out at that person and that person understands that it's not them, it's you, and it's the things that you've experienced and you've gone through in the past, they can stay more calm in their frame and not react to the jealous person's accusations or anger or whatever it may be. And so what that happens is it's, it's kind of like a, a snowball effect because if person A lashes out at person B and instead of lashing back, person B stands in their peace and they're understanding that this is not them and they don't internalize it and they don't take it personally, they can respond in a more calm fashion where these two people can have a productive conversation instead of just yelling and screaming and crying at each other, right? So that's what I mean by understanding that other people's words and actions really have nothing to do with you. So the exercise I can give you with this is the next time that you're in a situation and someone says something that you're like, whoa, and you start to feel some type of negative emotion towards it, bring that awareness in, like I say often, and understand that, hey, and, and remind yourself that this is not about me, this is about them, and just watch how calm that will bring you. And when you bring this practice into your everyday life with every situation, it becomes much easier. And over time, you will realize that other people's actions and words and things that you know happen with them, they aren't going to affect you anymore. It doesn't rock your boat as much. That roller coaster that we talked about in the beginning of this video really, really calms down. Okay, and it goes from these huge giant waves to like, you know, it'll get a little smaller and then it'll get a little smaller and then it's much easier to deal with. And to kind of bounce off of that, the, the next thing I wanna talk about is, you know, these people that have, have internalized and mastered this inner peace know that there is much more power in staying calm than blowing up and causing a scene and yelling. Okay, so I just gave you an example of that, but think about that. If you have a problem with someone and you go to them, right? And think of, a, think of an instance in your life where this has happened and you've lashed out at someone for something, okay? And that person lashes out at you, right? It, is, it, it just becomes extremely unproductive. More things are said that shouldn't be said because both of you are like at each other's throats. And then flip that situation where if you come at someone and they stand their ground and they're like, hey, let's talk about this. I wanna know where this is coming from and like, let's have a productive communication about it. You're going to feel much better as well. So you need to learn to, to be that person for other people because it will help you in deepening those connections and having more productive communication and actually solving issues instead of just letting them spiral out of control, right? And we've all been there. I mean, I <laughs> I certainly have been in those situations where you get in these like yelling arguments and like nothing good comes from it. So understand your power in staying calm and talking the way I'm talking with you instead of screaming at another person, even if they come at you first. You know, and in conjunction with that, people that have found this inner peace and that work towards this inner peace they understand how powerful your words and your tonality truly 
are. You know, when we were little, right, there was that phrase that said, you know, sticks and stones may break my bones, but you know, words will never hurt me. That's complete bullshit. We all know how powerful words are. So when we choose to select our words carefully, they make a much greater impact. Okay, so you'll notice that a lot of times these people that have this peaceful energy about them, they tend to not speak as much. And the reason for that is because they are very calculated and understand the power in their words. And you'll notice that people that are like that, when they do speak and they do have something to say, it is much more powerful than if someone is just gabbing off all the time about everything and everyone and all these things that happen in their life. You know, a lot of times less is more when it comes to communication and speaking. And when you can select your words more carefully, they mean more. When you have an abundance of words always falling, right? Falling out of your mouth and going out everywhere and you're not even thinking about what you're saying. One, you're gonna say things that you probably wish you hadn't, right? And two, when you do speak with the people that are around you and that you care about and that are in your life, it is going to have much more impact. And number four, they realize that this too shall pass and things always work out some way or another. And I've talked about this in one of my recent videos. I'll link that right here if you wanna get more into that philosophy. But a lot of times when we get worked up about something or someone or a scenario or something that happens, right? It's because we think that there is so much pressure on what is happening with that situation and that it's permanent, right? So think about maybe a time where you lost your job or you know you went through a breakup or you know something of a greater magnitude that felt negative in your life that occurred but down the road months years later you look back and you're like damn you know that was really rough in the moment but i'm so glad it happened because if that didn't happen xyz in my life wouldn't have happened so what these people that have really internalized this peacefulness understand is that even if something feels intense and negative and, and sparks some kind of fear in them, they understand that, hey, this too shall pass, this is not permanent, and there is going to be some positive that comes out of this situation somehow, all right? So when we learn to internalize these four understandings, our entire world, not internally, but externally, will be transformed. And let me please be a testimony to that, okay? Because I have spent my entire life <laughs> in a state of stress and chaos. And once I began this journey a few years ago, I've had friends that I've known for a decade plus tell me, wow, like you've changed a lot in a really good way because of that. And it's so easy for life to get in our way and so that we don't focus on these things. But I'm telling you, if you focus on these four things and you really try to internalize them and make them a part of who you are, you will be so much happier. All right, and that's why I wanted to make this video for you guys. So I would love to hear out of the four understandings, which one that you're gonna try first. And don't forget to like and subscribe because I make videos like this every single week. I love you guys so much. And don't forget, be limitlessly yourself.